when I get called uh, out for having transphobic content, they point to that only, to Abigail Schreier's work. Well, we just to, we're giving them something damage. else now. I don't know how the fuck they're going to say it's anti-trans by having you on. You are. Because, I, I, because to me, there's a very big difference between individual trans people and trans ideology. Mm. And when you're trans, it's like you can either follow the trans ideology, which is ever moving, ever growing, new rules every other week, or you like don't. What's so, the newsletter say for this week? <laughs> I don't fucking know. That's the thing. I hear words all the time. I just did a video with Michael Malice on my channel where we reacted to like crazy TikToks. And it was all this trans shit in terms. And I'm like, how do I not know this? And I'm a fucking tranny. How, do, how am I not relating to this in any sense of the, in the like what? Right. So it's hard to keep up with. But that's also why I have a lot of empathy for people who don't understand trans people, don't get it. Because everyone has a gay friend. Most people don't have a trans friend. The TikToks, the libs of TikTok channel. Have you ever I love it. the Twitter? It's where it, I got all my TikToks. I reacted to. It's you. incredible. I libs know. of TikTok on Twitter is the best follow. It's well, Tim Dillon's the best follow. Libs of TikTok is number two. Yeah. But libs of TikTok is so fucking crazy. Like, I. It's almost like China is fucking with us because the algorithm. It's not just the algorithm. It's like they created TikTok. And TikTok is, if you know, when you've talked to software engineers that have back engineered the TikTok platform and gone over like all this different stuff that it does to violate privacy, they said, we've never seen an app like this before. It's like the most violating app ever. Oh, yeah, it's intense. I've literally, um, this one time I met this girl at a gym and we became friends and we were just talking, but I didn't, we didn't like give each other uh, like our numbers or like contact info or anything, right? Like we, there was no digital attachment. We didn't follow each other, nothing. Right. And then an hour later, I'm on my phone on TikTok. I'm banned now, but when I had TikTok and I'm scrolling through and she pops up on my TikTok, a woman I just met in person. And it's not like she was like an influencer had a following to where maybe statistically I would run into this person. It's like she had like 12 followers. And I was like, that's scary. Yeah, it's. I bet it's probably just your phone being next to her yes. phone. Like the phones are talking to each other. Yeah. Like what? It's like, I don't like that. I mean, no. granted, I followed her. I was like, oh, cool. She has a TikTok. How but did you get banned from TikTok? I posted that I didn't think it was transphobic for people to not date trans people if they don't have that preference. That's it? Mm-hmm. Whoa. They banned you for that? That was the... That was the... <sighs> Yeah, infraction. It was TikTok doesn't give a fuck. Yeah, because there was this um, like funny meme that was going around called like super straight, and there was like high school kids being like, "I'm super straight. Like I don't date trans women." Like, and but they, <laughs> but it's funny because the way they did it was super like straight. Yeah, ah. I'm not just straight. I'm super straight. But the oh. way they did it was like, okay, we'll say trans women are women, but I'm super straight. So I go further than that. I don't actually date them. Oh my god, super straight is yeah. hilarious. But everyone was super upset about it, and to me, I find it insulting on so many levels to like insist people have to date someone of a certain type or be involved sexually so i'm like why are y'all attacking people for saying this it's a meme what did you say though that that they banned you for did you say anything? i said i wouldn't want to date anyone who didn't want to date trans women anyways i'm not offended by it and people have a right to their preferences everyone has a right to their preferences and i got banned for that wow i wonder what they're doing do you think that they're just they're social engineering. Uh, yeah, they're social engineering, right? But it's China is involved. Yes. So it's almost like they're trying to push us towards the most ridiculous, preposterous, cartoonish, caricaturish, caricaturish version of what like a social justice warrior would be. Yeah, and, and it like, just keeps going. It doesn't going like further stop. and further left. Yeah. yeah. Do you remember like I don't know? I remember being maybe like in 2015 watching like your podcast with like just people from that time talking about the SJWs are starting to rise up and like those guests and it's like that was like nothing. I know. Well, people that th thought I was overreacting, they were like, I I was talking to people like Jordan Peterson and a lot of other people was like, this is not going to stop here. You have to understand. These people are going to go from universities into corporations, and then the corporate yes. interests are going to be represented by these people, and it's going to spread this ideology it's to already mainstream happened. America. And people are like, that's bullshit. This is a very fringe thing that's only happening in small groups right. in universities, but now, now it's undisputable. Right. You can't work for any major corporation without going through what ex basically social justice training. Yeah. It's yep. just part of being hired places. And if you want to work for a tech company, good luck being conservative. You can't. You literally can't. Yeah. yeah it's and, crazy. But that's what's so 
scary as well when you think of big tech it's like so much of what we say is so controlled and there's so much that i would love to just be able to open my phone rant about on social media and not be like how stupid is that? i got banned for saying that like i don't think it's transphobic to not date trans women but you could say that on instagram yeah that's the thing there's different rules for different things like on twitter i posted um something along to the effects of car written house did nothing wrong that was like a tweet i posted but then people who shared that tweet on Instagram got banned. I knew I shouldn't share that on Instagram. That's like Twitter only type of thing. But really? then I had friends who reposted my tweet on their walls and they got banned. I'm like, that's scary. Well, yeah, Twitter is a little more free, but less free now, I think, with Jack Dorsey gone. Yeah. I think with Jack Dor Jack Dorsey, I think, was the last wall, the last firewall for free speech. Oh, the <clears throat> TikTok thing? Do you remember that Trump yeah. had a, yeah. uh, an mm -hmm. order to ban it? Yep. And then the Biden administration revoked it in yep. order to change, I guess, the framework of what was going to be changed, or like the banning of what they were actually banning about data sales and tracking and all sorts of stuff, but it hasn't happened. But here, apparently. if you look at the top of the article, look mm -hmm. back, look what it says there. But the apps still aren't out of hot water. <laughs> what does that mean? What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, the apps are in hot water. Those apps have a hundred billion people on them. Like, what the fuck right. are you saying? But uh, so with the this the tracker trial thing, or the, mm. uh, there is something apparently here with this. Some like Twitter sleuths, if you will, ah. did some digging into the account and some old archive tweets. Uh, it was that account was used for other tweeting purposes. Oh, and so they it might were, like be a Russian they? troll account? Maybe, but like they were saying that the, that account wasn't like a person at the trial. They were just reposting stuff from other like mainstream media sources that they were almost claiming weren't following the trial too, which is a little strange. See, but see, why, that why could be they a reason. ban them? It could be a reason just to pull them off. But it, the reason to ban them is because of this. Uh, they had other Twitter accounts also pointing to a Substack newsletter. And that is including an account established to report only negative news about Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. But why is that ban worthy? Because if you're using uh, bots and stuff to to take people off of Twitter's uh, website, they don't want that. Oh, okay. And that's that's a reason to do but it. But is that a it's bot? A good it says no, they yeah. had other accounts. It I don't know that it's a bot. bot. No, I don't right. know that that's accurate. That just could be a reason to do it. But if they're connected Seems to someone that's just only criticizing AOC, like that might be a reason alone. Twitter Maybe. leans so far left. I mean, Twitter banned Megan Murphy for saying that mm -hmm. men are never women. Right. Yeah. And then it it sucks because like all the alternatives to like mainstream social media are so cringe. They're it's terrible. Like, I don't want to join fucking Parlor. I don't want to join like Gab. join Gab and talk to Nazis. What are you gonna do? Yeah. It's like <laughs> I wish it could just be truly politically neutral. Like we did not appreciate MySpace for what it was. That shit was politically neutral. Tom had our back. Yes, that shit was fun. Yeah. It was great. You could post bulletins. And now it's like you say one wrong thing and it's like you're banned forever. And it's only on one side, too. 